Hi there, my name is Nicole and I'm a customer support specialist here at Kila. If you are new to the Kila system, welcome. We're happy to have you on board. In this introductory video, we'll walk through the basics of the Kila system to help get you familiarized with all of Kila's functionality and where to find it. There is lots to learn here, so make sure that you take advantage of our other training videos and articles as well. Let's jump right in. As soon as you log on to Kila, you'll always be directed here on your dashboard. And this provides you a quick glance at all of your account activity. You can see some general updates in terms of new donations, revenues, or contacts that have been added to your account. And you can even adjust this for a specific time period as well. And each user can also determine which data sets they want to see at a glance. And this comes in the form of widgets. Here on Kila's dashboard, we have widgets to look at our AI functionalities. So you can look at potential donors or donors and volunteers. We have contact related widgets. So we can look at recently added contacts. We have fundraising widgets. So you can keep track of your goals. We also have project widgets, which will show you any upcoming project tasks you might have. And last but not least, we also have a widget for looking at recent form responses. This is what your dashboard will look like as it begins being populated with more data. And this will come as more data is imported or added into your Keyless system. Before jumping into all of Keyless tools, let's take a look at some of these icons here in the upper right hand corner. To start, let's take a look at your organization's name. Here you're going to be provided with a drop down menu where you can access your organization settings, which are restricted to people with an administrator user level. And this will include all of the overarching Keyless settings that pertain to your account. If you have a Keyless account for multiple organizations, you'll be able to toggle between those accounts here in the second header. Last but not least, we have these personal headers where you can look at your personal settings. So anything related to your specific user account, and you can also log out here as well. In addition to this, we have a global search here where you can search for specific contacts or transactions. And Keela is going to search an array of resources to pull up any related content. We also have your inbox here, which tracks replies to your direct emails or any email marketing communications that may have gone out. We have a notifications bell here for anything like form responses to let you know when it's export ready or if a new contact has been added. We will also provide you with notifications for anything new that's happening within the Keyless system. So any updates that we have might have made on our end. Here on the question mark, we have different links to our knowledge base, our ideas portal, our Kila community, and the ability to refer a friend. If you're subscribed to our premium care package, you will also have access to book training and workshops and phone support. Every single Kila account, regardless of the package selected, will have access to our email support, which can be used here directly within your account. You can also search for different knowledge base articles here within our little support pop-up and you can contact us this way as well. Here on the contacts tool is everything pertaining to your contacts as its name might suggest. Here you can access a full list of all of your contacts, view specific contact profiles and any specific records that might pertain to them, such as fundraising transactions or volunteer records. You can also see a comprehensive list of any company record that's been input into your Kila account, any household associations, which you can also take a look at some of those macro level interactions and donations and volunteer records for each individual household association. Kila also consolidates any manual or automatic interactions taking place in your account, such as automated emails from Kila or direct mail communications that were built within our communication tool. Here on the tags tab, you can also manage your single label tags that you've been applying to your contacts. And last but not least, you can view and create contact segments here in the segments tab. 
In the fundraising tool, everything pertaining to your financial health, transaction records, and receipting will be held. Here in the Summary tab, you can see recent fundraising activities, track your donations and your donation goals, keep an eye on your key performance indicators, and add in new key performance indicators, and view your recent transactions. In the Forecasting tab, you can actually make projections about expected fundraising revenue and learn more about the giving treads for your organization, such as your most common transaction types, as well as the most popular times of giving throughout the year. Best of all, this heavy lifting is done all by Kila, requiring no other work from your organization. We also provide you with a list of all of your one-time and recurring transaction records and you can actually click directly into these transaction records to view them in more detail. We also record pledges here, so you can view and edit your pledges. On the administrative side, you can manage any sources that you may have indicated on a specific transaction record. And of course, our bulk receipting tool. Here, Kila will compile every unreceded transaction within the current and past financial years so that you can receipt these transactions in batches. And that's our fundraising tool. In Kila, you can also associate transaction and volunteer records to specific impact areas and campaigns. You can manage these impact areas and campaigns in their respective tools. Kila also has an array of forms that can be used by your organizations in order to automate the process of adding contacts and transactions to your Kila account. Here in the Forms tool, you can create five different form types, and this is where you're going to manage each and every form, as well as tracking their responses to these forms and making any adjustments along the way. You can also create and manage communications within the Kila's Communications tool. You can send email marketing campaigns, create direct mailouts, create your own saved templates to refer back to for email marketing. You can also archive any unused or no longer relevant email marketings. You can also take a glance at all of these subscription statuses for contacts on your Kila account. And last but not least, you can adjust your settings for your unsubscribe message. Here you can adjust the description for when people do unsubscribe, and you can choose to allow custom feedback. If your organization has purchased automation as a premium add-on, you will also find this little tab here. Here is where you can locate any of your active or archived automation workflows. Here in the Memberships tool, you can create, manage, and delete any membership plans that are offered by your organization. Here in the Reports tool, you can build, create, and manage any reports created across your Kila account. Here you can report on things such as volunteer records, transaction records, and contact records. You will also find a second tab here for your dashboard export history. On each report, you can add a widget, and these widgets can be exported directly from your report, and that's where they'll end up, here in the Dashboard Export History. Kila also has a built-in project management tool. Here, you can track your team's projects, add tasks, upload documents, and chat within a specific team. For any unused projects, you can put them in the archive. The last tab you'll see here is our Events tab. Here, you can import Eventbrite attendees and ticket orders, essentially integrating your Eventbrite account to your Kila account to minimize any extra work you have to do on the back end. Thanks for joining me on a quick introduction to all of Kila's tools and where to find them within the system. For more in-depth learning, take a look at our suite of training videos and articles. We also host a monthly webinar integrating best practices with Kila's functionality, so keep an eye out for our newsletter announcements.